I'm joined now by Brittany Packnett, a member of the Ferguson Commission, Teach for America leader here in St. Louis, and you were in the middle of the protest overnight. Tell mm -hmm. us what you saw. Well, I certainly saw a lot of things. I think mostly I saw a community in profound grief uh, and utter anguish. A lot of people don't think that justice was served or that we even have a chance toward justice. Um, I was certainly tear gassed and caught in the middle of that, unfortunately, but I was there to stand with a community that for 109 days has been demanding justice for, not just for Mike Brown, but for all of our children. You say that justice was not served. The, you heard from the St. Louis County prosecutor mm -hmm. putting out all the evidence that they're saying no probable cause. What do you think he missed? Well, I'm not a legal expert. All I know is that since Mike Brown has passed, we've had two more police-involved shootings here in St. Louis. We've also seen a Kai Gurley, an unarmed man in New York, shot down a 12-year-old with a BB gun, Tamir Rice, shot down in, in Cleveland by police. And so what we see is a systemic injustice that will require meaningful action moving and, forward. And in the protest last night, who was there and who tried to take over? Sure. I, you know, I would say that a lot of the folks in the family that we built in the protest community and, and across this community yeah, were there. Right um, unfortunately, things turned. But, you know, Dr. King told another newsman that riots are the language of the unheard. So what we really have to be asking ourselves is what are we not listening to in this community that's been suffering for so long? Okay, Brittany Pagnett, thanks very much for joining us thanks this morning. So much.